okay now we discuss about characteristics of sound wave characteristics characteristics is nothing but properties of sound wave generally we have four types of characteristics number 1 amplitude 2 wavelength 3 frequency and 4 wave speed of course here we can write time period also frequency and time period so we have four types of characteristics so let me explain you each and every character in detail to explain this we have to depend upon waveform so let me draw a graph y-axis and x-axis on the y-axis I'm taking displacement I'm taking displacement on y-axis and x-axis I'm taking distance okay displacement may be in meters or centimeters distance also in meters or centimeters in yes, in units okay now I told in the earlier class that whenever sound is produced it creates compressions and rarefactions these compressions and rarefactions shown in the waveform like this the waveform okay now again I told you in the previous class that uh, this is in the on the y-axis you can take pressure or density yes and here I'm taking displacement pressure density you can take it for gases for solids you can take displacement x-axis same distance now these are called positive peaks these are called negative peaks now whenever produce a sound when you produce a sound, the sound intensity immediately won't be created. The sound strength won't be created immediately. It slowly increases and goes to maximum value. And this increasing to maximum value will be done in fraction of seconds. So that you don't understand that when it is increased. You feel that you're hearing the larger sound immediately. So if you see the graph, the graph started from zero. So the graph starts from 0 means the distance is 0, displacement is 0. So when the distance increases, going towards right side, the displacement also increases, 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 go to maximum value. And go to maximum value, this is represented by A plus A. And A is called amplitude. So amplitude is the maximum displacement created in the wave. It is the maximum displacement of the particle. Right? Earlier told you the, this one, a particle in the medium. So when the sound is produced, the particle is vibrating to this point and come back and goes to this point. So this is what amplitude. From a starting position to end position. We can say mean position to extreme position. This is maximum displacement. It's called amplitude. Okay? So amplitude means the maximum displacement of the particle in a wave or in the medium I'm writing here amplitude maximum displacement of the particle in a medium right this is the maximum displacement now when the particle goes, see this origin means this point. When it goes to maximum means this is, this is plus A. When it going back, again comes to zero. But when going back, this movement is opposite to this movement. See, when the particle goes to from here to here, it has to come back again. So that reverse motion showing here. Again zero, so again zero here. And again won't stop here, it goes to in this direction. That means coming in this direction. 
again goes to the maximum value also goes to the max value but this maximum is opposite to this one that's why we say negative amplitude this is minus e so the particle vibrates from positive amplitude to the negative amplitude both are maximum displacements only but it is one side is the other side or you can say these two amplitudes are opposite to each other but amplitude definition is maximum displacement of a particle in a medium so in that way when the wave is propagating it moves from maximum amplitude to minimum amplitude maximum to minimum maximum to minimum in that we move in the forward direction and amplitude unit is either you can take cts unit of amplitude which is centimeter or you can take si unit of amplitude which is meter because amplitude is nothing but displacement and already we know about the displacement units centimeter and meter now the second characteristic wavelength wave length length is nothing but distance how much distance the wave is traveling is called wavelength but how would you represent here see i'm telling that these are called positive peaks these are called negative peaks but these positive peaks have some names the positive peak is called crest c r e s t crest the negative peak is negative peak is called trough t r o u g h trough so again it is crest it is trough crest trough right so crest positive peak just think crest is also compression maximum pressure maximum density or maximum displacement trough negative peak it is a rarefaction rarefaction means lesser pressure or lesser density or lesser displacement so compressions represented in terms of crests rarefactions represent in terms of troughs okay now coming to wavelength once again so i told wavelength is the distance traveled by the wave but to have better understanding what we do we will take one crest here one crest here and we take the distance between the two consecutive crest and represent the symbol lambda so this lambda is called wavelength so now how do you define wavelength it is distance between two consecutive two consecutive crests or troughs consecutive means next to next each other after crest you have to the next immediate crest you can't say that the wavelength is between two crests you are wrong why because if you take this crest and this crest it is not lambda it is two lambda so that's why you have to say consecutive or successive crests or similarly it is the distance between two consecutive troughs either two consecutive crest or two consecutive troughs or you can also say it is a distance between two consecutive compressions or two consecutive rarefactions right and this wavelength measured measured in of course centimeter or meter for lights for light especially i'm take, talking about light for light lambda is in angstrom units this is called angstrom unit and one angstrom unit equal to 10 to the power of minus 10 meters so light waves have very shorter wavelengths comparing to 